There will be three generations of our family riding today, starting with Albert at 74, his two sons and daughter, his grandchildren, the youngest being Christine, riding at 17. The interest probably started with Albert, him being a motorcyclist of, of old. This interest has just carried through the family and still remains with the grandchildren. The bikes we're riding today, they all belong in the family. We haven't had to borrow any. The oldest is a 1908 Motor Reeve, ridden by Ross. This bike took part in the original old Crocs car race held in Adelaide in 1934. It's still going today. We have a 1924 Douglas ridden by Mark, 1924 Ace and Sidecar ridden by myself, wife as passenger, 1925 Triumph ridden by Colin Pawley and his wife, my sister, 1927 AJS, Glenn's the rider there, 1928 Aerial, that's Albert's bike, that's his pride and joy. He's restored that himself. He spent 10 years extracting that from the previous owner. 1947 Malvin Star Auto Bike. This should be hard work for Trevor. 1948 BSA Bantam. That's the bike Christine will be riding. What we intend to do is try to ride as a group. Uh, in this way, any trouble experienced by any one of us, we should be able to put right keep out of everybody's road. During the afternoon after the vehicles arrive at the Birdwood Mill, the judging for the concourse to elegance will be held and the sterling silver perpetual trophy will be awarded to the entrant who, in the opinion of the judging panel, represents the best combination of vehicle and costume of both driver and passengers. This magnificent trophy was handmade by silversmith Malcolm Walter at the Birdwood Mill and the design was that of the 1899 Shearer steam car built at Manham. It was the third steam car to be built in Australia and is now housed at the Birdwood Mill. Let's now look at the effort and the care put into the making of this trophy. When the question of a trophy for the Beta Birdwood run came up, the matter was dis discussed extensively with uh, Donald Chisholm, the manager, and Mr Max Rogers, the curator of the Mountain Museum, and myself, and we decided to uh, settle on a scale model in sterling silver of the Shearer steam car. I worked first of all from a photograph of the, uh, the trophy. The trophy is 15 centimetres or 6 inches long and it's a 1 to 25 scale, in other words the model will be 1 25th the size of the original. After making the drawings um, I started construction on the trophy. The entire trophy is made from silver stock as we call it, which is either silver plate or wire or silver tubing with uh, a hole down the center called chenille. When I started construction on the car, I tried to construct it as near to the way the original would have been constructed with very, very close attention to detail. <laughs> and now for the official start of the 1982 Made to Birdwood Run. This is the second run, the inaugural one being held in 1980. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the Honourable, the Premier of South Australia, Mr David Donkin. Mr Tonkin, looking at uh, the crowd today certainly makes you feel proud to be a South Australian. You couldn't help but be proud to be South Australian. No, as I said before, times are a bit tough at present and yet we can turn on something like this. It's a characteristic of South Australians and they're doing it and doing it well. We have something like 966 official entries here today and uh, it's going to be a magnificent run up to Birdwood. Uh, it's going to be something like two hours for the cars to pass a given point. I'm sure you're looking forward to the sesquicentennial in 1986. Abso absolutely, Noel. It, um, I watched the start of the London to Brighton. That was good. This is going to be far better and by the time we get round to 1986 it's going to be a magnificent world-class show. Already we're leading the world in this run and uh, 86 is going to be fantastic. It's a great credit to the Federation of Car Clubs, the Birdwood Mill, and of course Channel 10, uh, which is very important because what we're doing here is helping the Channel 10 Christmas appeal and the Children's Hospital. Fantastic. That's where you certainly are, and Mr Premier, I'll give you the scissors so you can officially right. cut the ribbon and uh, start the second bay to Birdwood Run. Right, well, here we go. Is everybody ready? Right. The second Bay to Birdwood run is commenced. 
Thank you, sir. The Honourable the Premier of South Australia, Mr David Tonkin. Are just a few scenes of the magnificent start for the second bay to Birdwood Run. 966 entries now heading off through the city, up the Anzac Highway, through the city, out through Lower North Adelaide, then out on the main northeast road through Tea Tree Gully and up to the Birdwood Mill. And there'll be lots to see and lots to do up there. We hope that you can join us today. Michael Parkinson is over. We have Kerry Ann Wright from Good Morning Australia. Fat Cats, all the Channel 10 personalities, and we'd love to see you today at the Birdwood Mill. And we hope you've enjoyed these few scenes that we've been able to present to you from Glenog. And we look forward to seeing you here in two years' time for our third run in 1984.